Hi, this is Gary and welcome to today's video. So today it's part two of the unboxing of this package from Desk Bandit here in Australia. Last time we looked at the inks that were in here. This time we're going to take a quick look at the two pens. So we'll look at that in a bit more detail. We'll ink it up. We'll do a writing sample and then I'll let you know my first impressions about it. So join me now down on the mat and let's take a look at what's in the box. So here we are down on the mat. So at the moment we've got the box here. Remember we opened it up in the last video and we took out the inks. So what's left in here are the two pens. So let's take this up, remove the brown packaging paper and here we can see we've got two pen boxes. So let's take them both out and get rid of this box. So the first one here in its bubble wrap, let's totally take it out of there. Oh, it slides out really nice. It's a nice plain box, isn't it? If we turn it round, we've got plain here, fairly plain. And then we've got our labels. So this is a pen BBS pen. It's a model 308 and it's in the mojito color. Let's quickly turn that around. I'm not going to spend a lot of time looking at each of the pens. We want to get to the writing sample today, don't we? But let's ease this out. That's a tight fit there. So that gives us this gorgeous black box. Really is quite nice. It's got pen BBS on the top here. Okay, let's turn it round. So not a lot of writing on it. Then we've got this flap with this red background. So let's ease that up. And then that fetches us into here where we can see the pen. Just ease that out from the firm. Underneath there, we've got a bed. And that seems like that's, oh, there we are. It came out eventually. That's all that there is in there. Let's put the firm back in. Then I'll pop this to one side. So the pen is a Pen BBS Mojito. I've reviewed the Pen BBS 308 before when I got the blue version, but I just thought it'd be nice to have a green one. So we've got a domed top, all made of plastic. That comes down to this silver clip. The clip, really nice and springy. The cap, it slightly tapers up about here and then it's flat and it comes down to this silver colored band we've got pen bbs looks like there's a logo there and we've got the model number just going to lift this up to see if this says 308 so i think like the other one i got it says 266 rather than 308 now the 308 is an updated a 266 so i'm not overly worried it just would be nice if it matched, really, wouldn't it? But I will have a closer look at that when I can get my magnifying glass on it. Let's go into the body then before we look at the cap. So the body is transparent. It's got this lovely, gorgeous green tint to it. To me, it seems to be tapering down the whole length, but that just might be the way I'm looking at it until we come to another domed end here. Yes, I know I'm dashing through the body description, but, you know, there's really not a lot to describe. It's a, a lovely transparent pen. The cap, that's half, one, one and a half, just under two turns for the cap to come off. You know, that's not too bad. Personally, I prefer it if it would have been only one, but it's fine. I'm not going to quibble too much about that. And then that reveals this gorgeous silver pen bbs nib it's really got some gorgeous engraving you know we've got pen bbs there we've got this little bit of tracery around the outside and this is a fine nib the nib comes into the section the section picks up that same transparent color as the body there we go now we can see the section i personally find this fairly small pen my hand right down at the bottom there of the section reaches that lip the lip is a little bit sharp for me but with the blue pen bbs 308 i got used to that it posts really well which is good because i find with this pen for it to be comfortable i need to have a pen bbs 308 posted otherwise it just feels that little bit too short for me let's unscrew the body That reveals here this plastic fitting. 
There's a, an O-ring there, which is nice to see. Then we've got the converter. Now this is just like a standard converter that comes with any pen BBS pen. You know, it goes down and up and you've got that spring agitator in there. Now, one of the things I do like about this, everything is plastic. So I do think this may be a pen that if I'm feeling adventurous, I may try and ink dropper it. I don't know how well all this is sealed. It looks like it's one unit. Doesn't look like there's any joints or holes, but to be honest, it's not something I'm planning on doing, but it'd be interesting to look at it because it looks like it's something I could potentially do. So we'll now take a look at the other package. Here we are. So stunning, it's bubble wrap. Slide this one out. So this is a narwhal. Nice white box, we've got narwhal there. Plain bottom, narwhal on the other side. Then both the side fittings are blank. We'll lift off the lid. And we've got the narwhal user guide and warranty. Let me just turn that around. There we go. So it's showing you how to fill it. This is a piston filler pen. And uh, we could put the warranty details if we wanted to. So oh, what's in the box? I'm going to take this out first. A little spanner. So that's if I want to take the piston off. So it's the tool that I need. But let's take a look at the pen. Let's pop it to one side. Before we even do that, let's lift out that bottom. And there's nothing else in there. So I'll pop up that away. I'm going to fetch in a pen rest for this. So what have we got here? We've got a Narwhal Skull Kill in the gorgeous Palpita Navy colour. Wow, this is gorgeous. If you can get one of these just for the looks alone, I've got to be honest, wow, this is just so nice. I'm going to fetch in a Twisby Eco just so you can get an idea for the length of it. So there's the Twisby Eco. So it's ever so slightly longer. So it's not a massively big pen. I mean, I'm going to fetch in another pen to compare it against. Here we go. This is a Twisby Draco. This is another pen that I like the look of. You know, they're both beautiful, but I love this. Yes, you've got lots of reds in here, but here you've got your blues, you've got some golds, you've got some yellows, you've got some whites. Let's take a quick look at this one. So on the top here, we've got a rounded flat top with a gold colored inset. We come down into the main cap. The clip is embedded into the cap. It's gold colored and it's fairly stiff. The coloring, let me just turn this around as we look at the cap. So the cap, it seems to have a slight taper up. So it's tapering up to about halfway down. Then it seems to flatten out until it comes down here to the end of the cap. So the cap ends here with a little bit of a step down. Then we've got this transparent ink window, so that which is good, so you can actually see how much ink you've got in there. And we come on down then into the main body. Again, I'm, I've got to do it, I'm sorry. Just look at that colour. Wow, we've even got, look, look at them lovely browns we've got there. This would be such a versatile pen for various inks that I've got. I can see lots of my inks looking really nice in this. Anyway, at the end of the body, we've got another gold ring. And then here we've got the piston filling mechanism. So it twists around and then back again. Let's take a look at the cap. How, how many turns? Well, we go half, one, one and a half, two, just over two turns to come off to reveal this nib. So this nib is a first for me. This is a flex nib. I have never owned or even tried a flex nib pen. So this is going to be quite an experiment. And this is why I really want to show this pen off. And when we go to the writing sample, I will try a little bit with the flex just to see if I can get it to work. You know, I do know it's something I'm going to need to practice with. And that's again why I thought, well, this is the perfect pen. So from the, this gorgeous nib, we come down here into the section. So the section picks up that same lovely colouring. You know, I'm just going to turn it around just so we can see it all. 
It's nice to hold. So I do have another Narwhal Stool Kill. I'm quite happy with the other one using it unposted. With this one, it does post, same as the other. But, this is a very big but, it posts onto that piston mechanism cap. I do not like that. Because I always worry when it does this, that when I'm taking this off, if I accidentally twist it, and I twist that piston mechanism, I'll end up with ink all over. So yes, it does post, but I don't think I'll ever use it posted. But as I did say, it's a nice fit in my hand anyway. So let's pop that cap back on. I'm going to step away from the table now. I'm going to clean out both these pens. When I come back, we'll look at the inks I'm going to use. I'll ink them up and then we'll do a writing sample with each of them. So I'm back. We're going to start off looking at the 308. So the ink I'm going to use in there is Colorverse Albert. This is a really bright green ink. I think it's going to look really nice in this mojito color. It's not an ink I've had much experience with, but it looks nice. My concern is, with this being a fine nib, well, I may not get much out of it because this is a really light colour. But unless we try, we don't know. So let's fetch it in. I'll first fetch in my dragon. So this is what I use to hold my ink sample bottles. I know it's really high tech, isn't it? I've got a washer in there. But what that means is my ink sample sits really nice in it and it reduces the chance that clumsy Gary ends up spilling it. So let's take the cap and the body off. So that plunger is already all the way down to the bottom. It's got ink to, into the sample. And there we go. We've filled that with ink. It's a nice fill, isn't it, for just one fill? Normally I have to go up and down a couple of times to get that much ink into one of these pens. So that's really nice to see. So hopefully that's a good sign. Let's pop the pen back together. There we have it. The Pen BBS 308 with Colorverse Albert ink. Let's get this ink out of the way before Gary knocks it everywhere. Now we're going to take a look at the ink I'm going to use in the Narwhal. For this, I've decided to use Van Diemen's Azure Kingfisher. I've had this ink for a long time. Well, by a long time you know, nine months. And seeing as I've only really been collecting for about a year now, that's quite a long time for me. It was one of the first inks that I got. And I got it because it was a nice, gorgeous blue colour. But just look at this gorgeous gold sheen that comes out of it. Let me pick that up. And what I'm hoping is by using this in the flex nib, it's going to really allow that gold sheen to come through when I'm writing with it, especially when I'm trying to get more of that flex coming through. And hopefully that's going to really give a gorgeous blue colour, but give that gold sheen, which will really bring interest to the writing. So let me just fetch in the bottle. Now I've given this bottle a really good shake. Here we are. This is part of the Wilderness series, Azure Kingfisher. Van Diemen is an Australian ink company. So I do like to support Australia. Now I've given it a good shake. Let me just invert it a few times just to make sure that we've got that sheen all the way through the ink. There we go, the top comes off. And let's get this pen in there and get this pen filled. I've just untwisted the cap. In we go. I'm going to angle the bottle because it's only half full. So we go down. So that hopefully has filled it, but I want to make sure I've got a really good fill. So I'm going to, have to come back up again and again, go back down. And in the ink window, we can see we've got the blue there. So we know we've definitely got a little bit of ink in there. This is the one downside with a pen like this. You know you've got some ink in it because you can see it in the ink window. You just don't know how much because that window just says there's ink there. It doesn't actually tell you how much ink is there. Let me pop the cap back on and get rid of this bottle. Oh, I'm going to be in so much trouble when the wife gets home. I've got ink on my fingers already. Look at that. I've got yellows. I think this must all be from this Azure Kingfisher. So yes, I'm expecting to be really told off. Anyway, enough about that. Let's get on with what we want to see. What do we want to see? We want to see it writing. So I'm going to move the pens out of the way. Let's fetch in the trusty notepad. So here we go. As usual, the notepad I'm using is by Oxford and it uses that Oxford paper. Like, let me get it now. There we go. We're nice and positioned now. The first pen I'm going to use is the pen BBS 308. So remember, this has got that fine nib. So we go pen BBS 
308 with a fine nib and Colorverse Albert. I love the name of some of these inks. Now, as I feared, this is a very, very light ink. And the pen actually is, feels really scratchy. We'll know in a second when we get to the main writing sample. So this is something I may need to work on the nib. Let's go for our drying times there. Immediate. Well, that's quite wet, isn't it? 10 seconds. Yeah, that's, that's drying off quite nicely. 30 seconds. To me, there's not a lot of difference between the 10 seconds and the 30 seconds. Finally, one minute. So after one minute, yeah, that's nice and dry. So yes, it could be used for note taking. It doesn't take overly long to dry. I'm just a bit worried by the paleness. Anyway, the final writing sample, I'll reposition the microphone so you can hear it right. You know, I'm not sure how I feel about this pen. I do think I need to change the ink. I'll give it another couple of days with this ink, but I think this will end up being changed out. It's just too light, which is a shame because I actually think, if we look at the pen with it, it's not a bad match. I mean, you've got this mojito colour. And when I'm looking at the writing, that reminds me of lemons and limes. Grumpy, you can see the pale G there. Got various pale yellowy colours coming through like there on the S. So we've got some nice shade in there. In terms of writing, it feels smooth, but there's an awful lot of scratchy feedback. So I think this is a nib I also need to work on a little bit. And part of that is I might try and see if I can increase the wetness, because if I could do that, this ink may come out and look a lot nicer. As it is, not 100% certain I like the combination. I know I like the 308s because I do have another one, and I know that that writes really, really well. So but yeah, it might just be a case of tweaking this nib, which is all right. That's why you get these pens to do that. So we're going to now look at our second writing sample, which is going to be with this Narwhal School Kill in the Paul Peter Navy colour. I'm going to reposition the paper slightly for this one. There we go, just so we can get it better in view. So what have we got? We've got a Narwhal. Well, that's not a good start, is it? We're getting nothing coming out. Let me just try on another piece of paper. Okay, let's try. See if this helps. We've got a narwhal. Take number three. Let's try. A narwhal. School kill. In par Peter. And we, again, we're stopping. Now, this could be the pen, but it could also be me. Remember, I've never used a flex nib before, so it could be I need to change the way I'm holding it or the way I'm writing. Let's see if we can finish this off. Well, we got another couple of letters out of it, didn't we? Can I finish the word at least? No, I can't. Oh, this is so bad, isn't it? Let me try one more time in another pad, and then I'll come back and we'll make a decision what we're going to do. So, Paul Peter, with a flex nib, the ink. Oh, look at that. We nearly got two words then. Can I? Yep, yeah, Van Diemen. Azure. Kingfisher. Now, and again, we stop. Here we go, King Fisher. Oh, this is such an embarrassment, isn't it? Really struggling to get any kind of writing today. Can I get enough now? There we go, so immediate. Wow, it's a nice wet one, but I would expect that. 10 seconds, let's go on to the next lap. Oh no, we need to get some more ink flowing. 
There we go. 10 seconds doesn't seem to be much of a change. 30 seconds. Yeah, now we're starting to see some dryness coming in. One minute. So there we go, after a minute, well, not much different than the 30 seconds really, is it? I'm going to give it one more bash at trying to write something with this. Let's see how I can go. So, a couple of words. I think rather than me wasting time trying to do this on the video, I need to take the pen away and spend a few days with it, getting used to it and getting used to the flex. And I may do a separate video just looking at the flex writing once I've got more used to it. I can see a tiny bit, certainly here, can you see on the G? You see a tiny bit of that gold sheen coming through. You know, I quite like this, but yeah. I think that nib is going to take a bit of getting used to. I think maybe I'm putting too much pressure on, or maybe not even enough. So anyway, this is the Narwhal school kill with that flex nib, which I definitely need to play around with. So my first impressions of these pens, let's fetch both the pens back in. So my first impressions of these pens, pen BBS 308 is what I thought it was going to be. You know, I do have a different one of the same model. Love the color, the nib slightly scratchy, so I'm going to need to do a bit of work with that, but that's fine. That's part of the reason for getting these lesser expensive Chinese pens so you can play around with them. The Narwhal Skullkill Parpita Navy with that flex nib. Love the looks of this pen. It's absolutely gorgeous. Really is. I love the colouring. I love everything about the way it looks. The nib, as I say, I was having real problems with writing. That could be me. That could be the pen. I don't know yet. I need to look into that more. So I need to spend time off the camera playing around with this and getting used to the nib. Overall, I think they're both good purchases. You know, I like them both. I like the colours. I like the way they look. And I'm looking forward, certainly with the stool kill, to really playing around and getting to know the pen better. So, what do you think of these pens? That pen BBS 308, how about the Narwhal? What do you think about that one? What do you think about that Fletch nib? I'm really looking forward to spending more time with it and really playing around to see what it can do. It's the first flex nib, remember? So it's the first time I'm really experiencing using this. So it may take me a while to get the best of it. Have you got any tips for me to help me to get used to it? Please drop a comment down below. Please hit the thumbs up button, give the video a like. Remember, the more people that like and comment on my videos, well, it just helps with the YouTube algorithm. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel so that you can get new videos as I release them. I'll talk to you again soon.